the dollar 300 price range is one of the most crowded price bracket in the IM market at this point of time and there are a lot of options a lot a lot of options at this price range there are est based ims uh, uh, coming up i think and uh, there are some uh, plana based iams tribrid a lot of iams in the dollar 200 to 300 price range there is a lot of competition in this price range but there is still some charm for single dd based iams we are talking about the falcon ultra here i have been working around a handful of dd based iams in this price range uh, the orivati od 200 and even the uh, simgot ea 1000 were very good they were kind of slightly flawed i'll not say they are flawed but there there is a bit of uh, issues with them while the od 200 was very good its base wasn't that tight enough and the ea 1000 was exceptionally good with the uh, details and definition but it was a bit on the thinner a bit v-shaped side but there is something exceptional about the falcon ultra this one is a single dd im you guys can see 10.7 mm lithium magnesium alloy dome so very similar to what the uh, simgot ea500 lm had 16 ohm sensitivity is decent uh, we get two nozzles we will i will talk about that very good build quality if we look at and uh, the the cable is very good too i like this this kind of uh, uh, setup changeable plugs and that is a good thing i was kind of uh, unhappy with the ea1000 because it didn't had uh, modular plugs because at this point of time there is no one looking to buy iams in the dollar 200 300 price range for single ended use okay single ended is kind of dead at this price range so yeah this is a necessity either you give 4.4 mm as stock or you give modularity so that is kind of a necessity and this one is very good they say this is q light q light plugs and uh, this is uh, dw02 light i think and the plugs are q light in any case this is a decent cable i will not say this is the best cable by a long shot very good cable no issues uh, you should not be complaining if you are uh, arriving at this price range for the first time so this is a decent cable there is a bit of memory you guys can see there is a bit of memory here it's not the most supple or uh, most uh, uh, soft cable in this price range even and if we look at the build quality i like the build quality very similar to what the falcon pro had very similar just the color has changed and uh, uh, nothing else nothing else has changed much the design and everything is very similar uh, they have some uh, texture here and that that is very good i like this and if you guys will see it is not big either very very good uh, for fit and uh, yeah very similar design to what the uh, dunu zen had uh, eclipse drivers they are saying and this iam has solved the issues that i had with the uh, falcon pro the falcon ultra is i have no issues in saying that is the best single dd based iam in the under dollar 300 price range someone might come up and say yeah there are some hybrid iams that are better than this but i still will not agree with that maybe the audio sense t800 is a bit more smoother and bit more calmer and if you like calmness that might be the iam for you but for everyone else this is an exceptionally good sounding iam i am uh, very very impressed and if we talk about the nozzle it comes with two the golden one is on the iam and this one is the uh, more uh, fun more musical more engaging one and the blue one the blue one is a bit more on the flatter side okay this one was kind of 
lacking the extra bit of uh, engagement factor this one is not bad at all but if you do not want more balanced more analytical kind of sound signature this one is not not the one to get i was kind of feeling slightly dryish with this nozzle too so that is uh, why i'm using this one and uh, the the golden one is much better much much better and this one is doing a lot of good things here exceptional tuning exceptional tuning from dunu someone complained that uh, the the he was having some issue with the fit but i do not see any fit issue, fit issues here the housing is not bad the nozzle is long enough and i do not see any any fit issues at all for anyone so he might be using the wrong tips maybe the tips were not sealing properly but uh, there is no issues at all and if you start talking about the sound quality we this is this is not a bassy rm this is not a very colored or very uh, v shaped rm or anything like that there is a bit of shape to it there is a bit of v shape to it but the bass is uh, on the tighter side more accurate side very very good layer delivery very good air very good punch the area of impact is decent there is good amount of weight behind the uh, notes and uh, sub bass is very good mid bass is slightly fuller excellent excellent dynamics too very good control over the notes there is no no overpowering feeling at all across the spectrum so that is that is very well tuned and if we talk about the uh, mid range very good clarity very good instrumental clarity very good accuracy with the uh, vocals very good Uh, tonality and timber too. Some some might find this to be slightly on the drier side, but if you find it to be a bit on the drier side, don't use analytical sources. This one is an analytic analytical kind of source. A uh, DH eighty S is a bit more on the analytical side. Go for a warmer source. Uh, maybe like uh, Ibis or DC zero uh, four uh, Pro or uh, maybe Sharling UA three will be a more uh, warmer, fuller sounding source and it will it will deliver you nearly everything very good air between instruments very good clarity very good technical abilities at this price range at 250 dollars this one is an absolute stunner very good extension at the treble range very good sparkle very good clarity very good engagement factor lively notes instruments are very clean clear there is little to no wailing and we cannot ask for more at this price range so this is an excellent excellent rm for anyone looking for an rm in the dollar 300 price range this one is an absolutely stunning rm and the stage if we talk about the stage and imaging very good stage and image, imaging excellent sonics very good movement of instruments the the slightly uh, more uh, analytically paced instruments are very clean very clean very clear very good contrast between back and foreground instruments and excellent excellent tuning from dunu if you are looking for a dd based rm and not looking for a bassy rm you want details you want clarity you want stage you want everything but not something that is dominant this is an excellent rem to get i find this to be the best dd based rem in the dollar 300 price range exceptional tuning i do not see anything close to this even in the dollar 500 price range but i'll be pushing the shozi against it and i'll i'll compare it with the shozi b2 and we will see how the shozi compares against the dunu falcon ultra so this is it This is my review of the Dunu Falcon Ultra. In my opinion, one of the best IEMs in the dollar three hundred price range. So this is it, guys. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Enjoy.